stocks are off to a pretty good start so far in 2023. Do you expect this to keep up? Yes, it's definitely a nice rally that we're seeing in the markets, um, sort of continuing from the fourth quarter of last year. But I think um, it's still more of a head fake at this point. I think it's a recovery um, that is fueled by some optimism about um, inflation peaking. But um, I think as we go through the year, uh, at least the first half of the year, we're still going to see the Fed um, really on its um, fight against inflation. And we'll probably have to continue to raise interest rates, which will put pressure on stocks. What kind of takeaways are you seeing so far? Because we have seen a nice little rally in large cap tech, for example. What else are you seeing? So it's definitely this rally. Um, you know, you've got investors that took losses last year and some of the losers, right? So they're reinvesting their bonuses right now, reestablishing some positions that they um, exited. And, um, you know, we're seeing a risk on market right now. But um, it's really fueled more by sentiment as opposed to fundamentals. Fundamentals are still deteriorating as the economy is slowing down. So, um, you know, we are seeing some of the cyclicals also rally on the heels of some of the sentiment. But um, I wouldn't necessarily rotate or chase some of these stocks. Fundamentals as in earnings, we're currently uh, in earnings season. What are your takeaways from earnings season so far? Of course, we're looking at fourth quarter earnings. We're not looking ahead. Mm -hmm. What's your takeaways? Earnings, I would say, have um, been mixed so far. I, I mean, we've seen some better than expected earnings out of um, companies like um, some of the consumer staples companies where they're still seeing some pricing power. Um, but I think that in general, you know, the bank's earnings were sort of OK. I think they were not as bad as feared um, in terms of credit losses or provisions. I think they were manageable, maybe just a you know, slight increase in loan loss provisions. Um, loan growth is pretty paltry at this point, which is not a surprise. And, um, you know, we'll get a lot more as we head, you know, further into earnings season. Right now, it's still very early. Um, some of the trends that we're looking for are definitely um, signs about, you know, whether companies will need to do further layoffs um, and also how companies are managing their profit margins in light of um, a very, you know, um, I, I think wage um, pressure is still pretty high right now. Uh, and um, input costs, although they've come down, it's really more about labor costs that companies will need to manage through. That's a lot of different ways for describing what they call a recession. So do you want to make a recession call? Uh, so I do think that we're going to see a, a recession. Um, it's really a matter of whether it's going to be a deep or a shallow one. It's really hard to say. I, I think you know that's one of the hardest things to predict. Um, and it really will depend on how well inflation is tame or how quickly we can get um, inflation to come down. But, you know, that seems to be um, there's still some sticky inflation in areas of commodities. Um, and also, you know, as I mentioned, there's still some, you know, labor pressures. I think we're starting to see some slowdown and cutbacks, but we'll probably see some more um, of that before things improve. And if these current trends continue, how are you advising uh, investors to prepare their portfolios? We expect volatility to continue this year, at least certainly in the first half of this year. Um, as I mentioned, the Fed's going to continue to raise interest rates. Um, maybe, you know, obviously not at the pace that they did last year, but it's still going to be a fight that the Fed's willing to um, take on. Uh, and um, right now, the economy is holding up so they, they can afford to um, raise rates some more, um, certainly in their views. And, you know, I think until we start to actually see the data deteriorate, the Fed won't change its position. And in that environment, um, as I mentioned, things are going to be volatile. I think investors need to stay defensive, um, really, really focus on high quality investments, look for companies with strong balance sheets and cash flow. Um, and, you know, I think the sectors that will do well are some of the sectors that did well last year, healthcare, utilities. Energy actually will continue to do well in our view and materials. So it's a theme about defensiveness and also um, some of the inflation beneficiaries. All right. Well, thanks a lot for coming on and talking about it. All right. Thank you.